Hi there, this is Patricia from patriciafenty.com and today I have a crochet tutorial for this really lovely lap blanket. I am making this to donate to a local care, long-term care facility. And so I'm making it 30 inches by 30 inches. If you're wanting to make this as a donation blanket as well, just contact your local uh, facilities for, um, you know, either dementia facilities or long-term care facilities and see what they're looking for. So this will be 30 inches by 30 inches. I will show you how to do this stitch here, which is a zigzag lozenge stitch. And it is made using a half double crochet V stitch and a cluster stitch, a, a, a tog stitch. So I did make this pillow here using the same stitch and I used just a, a mix of colors. I was using up some scrap yarn. So you can use this stitch to make any kind of uh, project that you like. And when I was making this project, I actually hurt my shoulder and I couldn't do this cluster stitch anymore. So I ended up just doing two additional panel panels with the half double crochet V stitch. So I'll show you how to make this blanket. And of course you can make the blanket using this entire pattern. But at the end of the tutorial, I show you how you can do the two separate panels as well. So let's get started. So I just wanted to quickly pop in and show you the stitch patterns up close. So this is the lozenge stitch, the zigzag lozenge stitch, and then this is the half double crochet V stitch. And, um, and I wanted to quickly mention that there won't be a written pattern for this. Um, my brain isn't agreeing with me, so I have a hard time actually writing patterns. And, uh, but I can tell how to do it. <laughs> so, uh, but there will be a blog post in the description box below this video with all the links of the stitch pattern to do this one, how to do the whip stitch and uh, the yarns that I'm using, but I'll be showing that next, what the yarns are. So I'm using the Bernat Premium Yarn. It's a number four medium weight acrylic yarn. Each ball of the Bernat is uh, 360 yards or 329 meters or seven ounces and 198 grams. So for the zigzag lozenge stitch, you're going to need roughly 300 yards of the green. This is spring green. And then a total of about 500 yards of mixed colors, whatever your color selection would be. So here I'm using the magenta, the sky blue. I would use a punchier blue in retrospect, it blended a little bit too much with the green. This is hot pink and this is called gold. And then we're using a five millimeter crochet hook for the foundation chain and single crochet row, and then a four and a half millimeter crochet hook for the rest of the pattern. You'll need a darning needle and scissors. And if you wanna do the panel with a half double crochet V stitch, I'll show you that at the end of this uh, stitch pattern. And we'll be using a different size hook for that. So we're gonna start with the larger crochet hook, the five millimeter crochet hook, and um, the color that you want the leaves of the pattern to be. So I'm starting with the spring green, and we're going to begin with a slip knot. And if you're new to crochet, I do have my beginner crochet series, which I'll link to in the blog post in the description box below. This is a slightly more advanced pattern, so I don't actually recommend it for beginners. So put your slip knot on the hook, and you're going to create a foundation chain with an odd number of stitches. So yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop on your hook. Yarn over, pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. And so for this blanket, if you want it to be 30 inches wide, you can do between 87 and 89 chains for your foundation chain. And uh, and of course you can make it any width that you like, so long as you have an odd number of stitches. And you want these stitches to be quite loose uh, because otherwise the bottom of the blanket, can, the, that foundation row can be kind of tight. So create um, sort of a nice loose foundation chain of an odd number of stitches. So 87 or 89 if you want a 30 inch blanket. So we'll see you there. Now I'm just doing a sample here. So I've done 21 chains. So once you have your foundation chain done, you're going to do a chain one and that's your turning chain. Now your foundation chain has three stitches. You've got your front loop, 
your back loop and then if you turn it over there's the back bump or the spine of the stitch and that's the stitch we're going to be working into so turn your work and not the stitch that the hook is coming out of not that one but the next one so skip that first one that's your chain your turning chain go into the second stitch put your hook under that back bump yarn over pull the yarn through you've got two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two loops and that's a single crochet and then going into the next bump the spine of the stitch put your hook under that one loop yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and that's your single crochet so you're going to single crochet into the spine of the stitch all the way back and when you get to the end of this row you will have the same number of single crochets as your foundation chain so you'll have 87 or 89 whatever your foundation chain was mine will be 21. so go ahead and do that and we'll see you at the end of this row coming to the end of row one of single crochets make sure to get that last stitch and at this point you're going to take off the larger hook the five millimeter and switch over to the four and a half millimeter for the rest of the pattern so you can chain two and turn your work or turn your work and chain two it doesn't matter and this is going to be the first uh, row of your pattern repeat so not the chain one or chain two but the stitch right below it you're going to do a half double crochet so yarn over go under both loops of that third stitch pull the yarn through you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops that's a half double crochet then the beginning of this row stitch pattern will always begin with the two stitches in the same stitch so chain two and a half double crochet skip a stitch yarn over into the next stitch we're going to work a half double crochet v stitch so go under both loops of that stitch yarn over pull the yarn through you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops chain one and do another half double crochet back into that same stitch so yarn over going under both loops pull the yarn through three loops on your hook yarn over pull through all three loops skip a stitch and into the next stitch you'll work another half double crochet v stitch yarn over go under both loops yarn over pull the yarn through you have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through three loops chain one and another half double crochet back into that same stitch so you're going to work the half double crochet v-stitch all the way along this row of single crochets skipping a stitch between each half double crochet v-stitch and you'll do that all the way along and i will see you at the end of this row now as you come to the end of the row you've done your half double crochet v-stitch and you'll have two stitches left so you're going to skip a stitch and you'll work a half double crochet into this last stitch and you're going to work another half double crochet but this is where you're going to change your yarn color so you're going to begin your half double crochet yarn over go into that same stitch pull the yarn through you'll have three loops on your hook you're going to cut your tail and then you'll bring in the flower color so I'm going to just do yellow I'm going to use yellow all the way through for this this uh, row of flowers put that on your hook and you're going to pull that through the last part of the the stitch and then what I like to do is I like to take these two tails and I just do a simple little knot like this and that snugs up your tail ends and keeps them uh, nicely out of the way so now for the second row we're going to chain three and turn our work or turn your work in chain three it's totally up to you and going back into that same stitch you can see where the the new color is coming out of you're going to yarn over and you're going to work a double crochet into that stitch so yarn over go under both loops pull the yarn through you'll have three loops on your hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops and that's the beginning of the row two repeat so you're always beginning this with two stitches at the beginning of the row chain one 
and then you're going to skip two stitches and you're going over to the chain one space of the V stitch and you're going to work into the chain one space of the V stitch. So yarn over and now we're going to do a double crochet three together tog stitch. So yarn over, go into the chain one space, yarn over, pull the yarn through. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops and you'll have two loops left on your hook. You're going to yarn over, go back into that space pull the yarn through, you'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, and you'll have three loops left on your hook. Going to do one more, yarn over, go back into that space, pull the yarn through, you'll have five loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, you'll have four loops left, yarn over, pull through all four loops, and do a chain one. And that's the tog stitch. And that's the stitch you're going to repeat all the way long. So we'll go again, Go over to your chain one space of that V stitch. You're going to go in, begin your double crochet, pull through, you'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. You'll have two loops on your hook. Yarn over, start another double crochet, pull the yarn through, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have three loops left. Repeat that one more time. So you're doing three double crochets into the same stitch, but you're not completing them all. You'll have five loops left, pull through. You'll have four loops left and you pull through all four loops and do a chain one. So that's the stitch you're going to work all the way long. Begin your first double crochet, pull through two loops only. Begin your second double crochet, pull through two loops only. Begin your third double crochet, pull through two loops only. You'll have four loops left yarn over, pull through all four loops and do a chain one. So carry on and do your tog stitch all the way along and I'll see you at the end of the row. Now coming to the end of row three or the row two repeat, I've done my last tog and the last V stitch and now we're at these two stitches here at the end and you're going to do two double crochets at the end of this row. So you can go into that First stitch there and do a double crochet. And then the second goes into the third chain of that beginning chain three. And now you're not gonna complete this double crochet cause you're going to add on your green yarn again. So yarn over, pull through two loops and you can cut your tail and then you're gonna add the green on before we start the next row. Put that on and pull that through the last two loops and then tie up those little tail ends just to keep them out of the way as you're crocheting and to keep your stitches snug. So now you're going to chain two and turn your work or turn your work and chain two, whatever you like. So now we're going to do the stitch a little bit differently. So you're beginning the row with just the chain two. You're not doing two stitches at the beginning of the row, just doing one. And you're gonna go over into this chain one space here and work a half double crochet V-stitch. So yarn over, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, chain one, yarn over, go into the chain one space. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. Skip the tog, go into the next chain one space, and you're going to work your half double crochet V-stitch. So you're just going to work the half double crochet V-stitch into each of your chain one spaces all the way along until you get to the end of this row. And I'll see you there. Now, as you come to the end of row four or the row three repeat, you've done your half double crochet V-stitch in the last chain space. We have these two stitches here, you're going to do just one half double crochet into the third chain of that beginning chain three. But you're not going to complete this stitch because this is where we're going to change the color again. So I'm just going to add the yellow back on, <coughs> pardon me, and um, of course you could add on a different color, pink or blue or whatever you like. And then again I like to tie up these tails so that um, 
they are nice and secure. So this is the row four repeat. And for this row, you begin with a chain three. And then this row repeat just begins with the one stitch of the chain three. And then you go over to your, your chain one space of your V stitch and you work your tog stitch. So yarn over and begin that double crochet, but just complete half of it. Yarn over, do your second double crochet and just complete half of it, pulling through two stitches. Yarn over, do a third double crochet all into that same stitch. Sorry, I got snagged there, I went back out. Pull through two and you'll have four loops left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all four loops and a chain one. So you're just repeating this, this tog stitch all the way along going into the chain one spaces of your V stitch. So essentially, you know, the row one and repeat and the row two repeat, uh, they're exactly the same, but you're beginning each of those. This one here, you're beginning with two stitches. This one, you're beginning with two stitches. This one, you begin with one stitch and this one, you, you begin with one stitch. So that's the difference. But otherwise, you know, the half double crochet V stitch row is the same and the tog um, row is the same. So carry on and finish up this row with your tog stitches and I'll see you at the end. Now, as you come to the end of row five or your row four repeat, you've done your last uh, tog stitch cluster in the last V stitch, and you have this chain two from the uh, previous row. I've already cut my tail because my microphone wasn't on for the <laughs> when I did this. Um, so now we're going to finish with a double crochet in the second chain of that beginning chain two. So yarn over and do a double crochet yarn over pull through but here's where we're going to add on so i cut my tail <coughs> going to add the green back on and <coughs> so you're beginning and ending this row also with just the one stitch so what we have here is we have the the row one repeat and row two repeats both start with two stitches at the beginning and the end of each row. And then the row three repeat and row four repeat just have one stitch at the beginning and end of each row. And what that does is it just offsets the pattern slightly. So now we're going to repeat uh, row two, the, uh, which is the row one repeat and chain two, turn your work. And now we're going to have two stitches at the beginning of the row. So this counts as a half double crochet. You can see where the uh, stitch came out of the, the color of the previous row. And you're going to do another half double crochet in that stitch there. And then you're just going to work that same stitch pattern where you're doing your half double crochet V stitch into the chain one spaces. And you'll work that all the way along until you get to the end of the row. And of course, you'll just carry on uh, working rows two through five. And you can <coughs> switch up the colors as, as you like. You could work the same colors. You could change them every row. You could have three uh, colors, whatever you like. You can uh, be creative with that. But do keep this row, you know, one color probably unless it's like that pillow that I did, which was just a big mishmash. So yeah, so go ahead, carry on. And um, I will show you then once you have the blanket as big as you like, as like as long as you like, there's uh, one last row to do. And I'll show you how to do that at the end of this row. Now coming to the end of your row two repeat, this is where we began with two stitches at the beginning of the row, we're gonna end with two stitches at the end of the row. So you've done your last V stitch in the last chain space. So now you're going to do a half double crochet in the third chain of that beginning chain three. And you'll do a second half double crochet into that same stitch. Now, if you were carrying on with another color, this is where you would change, but I'm going to show you how you can finish off this last row here. So I'm gonna complete this half double crochet. And then for the very last row of single crochets, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And we're going to work a single crochet into each stitch, but we're going to actually 
skip all the chain stitches in the v-stitch spaces because we want to get the stitch count back to what your beginning foundation cro uh, single crochet row was so for this one because i began with or ended with the two stitches i'm going to do a single crochet not in the turning chain but the next stitch i'll do a single crochet in that stitch and because this row starts ended with two stitches we'll do another single crochet if you <clears throat> had just the one stitch that you started on if you're ending with a V stitch row with just the one stitch, you would just do two stitches, two single crochets at the beginning of that row, and then you'd skip a stitch. But here we have to do three single crochets because we're working our way to this chain one in this V stitch. So we need to do one more on this row. I hope that makes sense. And now we're going to skip the chain space of that V stitch. So we're going to skip that stitch and go on to the next stitch and do a single crochet. And then the next stitch, single crochet. And you're going under both loops of these stitches. Then you're going to skip the chain one of the V stitch and then do a single crochet into the next stitch, a single crochet into the next stitch, and skip the chain stitch of the V stitch there. So just carry on and you're going to skip all the chain stitches and then just doing a single crochet into the top of each of the uh, regular half double crochets until you get to the end of the row. So as you come to the end of the row, you're skipping the chain stitch, crocheting into the top of that half double crochet from the second part of the V stitch and then single crochet into the uh, half double crochet there and then the very last stitch is into the second chain of that beginning chain two and then of course if you had started uh, if you had decided to do this into the row three repeat which you begin and end with one stitch you would finish this row with just two stitches but here we're finishing with three and so then you do a chain one and cut your tail and fasten off and so what that does is it leaves you with your beginning row or your beginning row as the single crochets and your last row as the single crochets and so then I'll show you next how you're going to be darning in all these ends here so once you have your uh, blanket the size that you want if you've gone ahead with this stitch and the panel is the size that you want and you finished your last row with this single crochet then you have all the tail ends here to deal with so if you've been tying them along as I have you've got the first sort of simple knot there you can darn them in at this point I like to put uh, another knot just make it a full square knot just so it's nice and secure and then go ahead and darn in the green there and the the purple there. The other thing you can do if you want to add tassels to this, you could join tassels and just sort of wrap the tail end in the tassel, bring the tassel, the hook in through here and sort of make the knot over top of this knot here and add tassels and then you'd have a nice little fringe trim that. So whichever way you want to do that, go ahead and do that and I'll see you when that's all done. So if this stitch pattern doesn't hurt your shoulders like I did. I would recommend doing the whole blanket in this uh, zigzag lozenge stitch because it's such a lovely stitch. But if you want to have the two panels of the half double crochet V stitch the way that I did it, I will explain how to do that next. So you can see the, the color sequence I did with the four different colors and I began with the purple and ended with the purple and so this is actually 19 rows of the stitch pattern and then if you include the last row of single crochet and the beginning row of single crochet it's 21 rows and that gives a 10 inch panel and we started this one with 87 stitches now the half double crochet v stitch pattern on the other hand is uh, this works into an even number of stitches so I would start with 86 uh, 
chains for your foundation chain and then your chain one for a turning stain, chain. And then you'll do just the half double crochet V-stitch. And I have a tutorial for that in the description box below. Just click on the blog post and um, the tutorial for the half double crochet V-stitch will be there. And it shows you how to begin with the row of single crochet and end with that. Now, this stitch pattern is a little bit um, wider, I guess, like it, it's more relaxed perhaps. So I would recommend doing your foundation chain with a four and a half millimeter crochet hook and doing the body of the panel with a four millimeter. So you want your stitch to be a little bit tighter. And then I just repeated the color sequence uh, as I did with, with uh, these colors here. And the only thing that I did was in order to sort of get this distance and this distance the same, uh, I started with the row of single crochet and then three rows of V-stitch. And then I did the blue and then five rows of V-stitch and then the next color and five rows and then the next color and five rows and then finishing with the last color and then one row of um, the green V stitch and then your single crochet and that gives you a 10 inch panel as well. So this ends up being 23 rows of the half double crochet V stitch and then your beginning or your, your uh, beginning single crochet and ending single crochet that gives you a total of 25 rows. So then all you need to do is stitch this together and I would be using the whip stitch. I don't have my, my needle here. Um, there'll be a link in the description box below for how to do a whip stitch. In that video, I'm showing you how to whip stitch into like the top loop or like back loop of each stitch. But for this, um, for joining these panels together, I'm going to go through both the top loop and the back loop of each panel. Now, of course, this is going to be one stitch last, less. You can work that in, no problem. So just whip stitch those together. And yeah, so panel for this side, a panel for the other side. And here, I'll just show you that panel. It's a little bit different because um, you end up working, let's see here, you end up working the stitch pattern sort of in an opposite direction for the colors. And so basically, cause you're gonna flip it around and go this way. So it's in order to get the color sequence the same, you're working the color scheme a little bit differently. So, um, so you have you like your pink, yellow, purple, just like pink, yellow, purple. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so anyways, there you go, stitch it together. I'm going to do that and I'll be back for the final reveal. And so here we go, the panels are all sewn together and of course I can't get the whole, the whole blanket in the video, but you can see how nice that stitch pattern is, how nice the, the seam is, and how lovely these colors are together and how well the stitch patterns work together. Of course, because this has a half double crochet V stitch in it, that's why I chose this for the side panels. So um, as I said earlier, my injury made me be creative to create this panel to go with this panel. And I think this is such a lovely lap blanket. The colors are great and especially to donate to long-term care facilities or care homes for elderly people. You know, if they can't get out or are they're immobile, having something bright and cheery like this on their lap would be just so, so lovely and cheerful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.